Hey everyone, it's Rek here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to fix FPS drops and boost FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5. So just recently I made a guide on how to fix FPS drop and boost FPS in the new Season 5 which helped a ton of people completely fix their FPS issue. However, some people still had FPS drops, stutters and overall low FPS in Fortnite so I decided to make this part 2 of my previous Fortnite FPS drop fix guide. So with the drop of new Season 5 in Fortnite, a ton of people are having huge FPS drops in Fortnite regardless of their spec. So inside of this video, I will be showing you guys how to fix FPS drops, fix stutters and boost FPS in Fortnite Season 5. And I won't be including any of the tweaks from my previous video, so if you guys haven't watched that guide then make sure to watch it after watching and applying this guide. I will leave a link to that video down below in the description and at the end of this video as well. Before starting this video, just keep in mind that these optimizations do depend on your PC specs as well and a person using Intel HD integrated graphics should not expect crazy like 200 or 300 FPS or something because that's just simply not possible. But in this guide, I will be showing you guys how to optimize your PC in order to get the maximum FPS your PC can achieve in Fortnite even if you guys are using Intel HD integrated graphics. A quick disclaimer that all of the tweaks shown inside of my videos are 100% safe and will optimize your PC to run Fortnite at the highest FPS possible for your hardware. Also, if you guys want the best possible results out of this guide, then make sure to watch each and every step inside of this video and apply it carefully so you don't miss out on anything important. Making these videos takes a lot of time and effort and it will only take you guys 2 seconds to like the video. It will really mean a lot to me and also if you guys end up enjoying this guide and it helps you guys then make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of the brand new optimization guide whenever I upload them. Make sure to use code Ragnetic in the Fortnite item shop if you guys wanna support me and with that said, let's get this video started. So starting off with the optimizations, head down into the description of this video and download the Fortnite Season 5 FPS Boost Pack. I will provide two links to download the pack. Just in case that the first one doesn't work for some of you guys, you can download this pack using the second link as well. Once the pack is downloaded, then you guys will need 7-zip or WinRAR to extract the pack. So just go ahead and use either one of those because both of them are free. Once the pack is extracted, go ahead and open it up. And we are going to be starting off by creating a system restore point. A system restore point is really highly recommended in case that these tweaks don't work out for some of you guys. You can go ahead and reset everything back to their default with a single click. So just go ahead and open up create system restore point. Once this window opens up, click on the drive where you guys have installed your windows and click on configure. Make sure that turn on system protection is checked and set the max usage to around 5%. Then hit apply, hit ok and then click on create. You can go ahead and name it anything you want. I'm going to name it backup and then click on create. And that's it. Now we have successfully created a restore point which is going to allow us to revert all of the changes back to their default whenever we like to. Once the restore point is created, hit close, hit ok and then go into the first folder that is the registry optimizations. Inside of here you guys will find two files. So for the first one that is the PC optimizations. It is going to optimize our PC hardware in order to get us the best FPS possible in Fortnite by optimizing our GPU and CPU components and providing more CPU and GPU resources to Fortnite. So to apply it, double click on it, hit yes, hit yes again and hit ok. As for the game optimization, it is going to optimize Fortnite in order for us to get the lowest input delay and fix all of the FPS drop issues that you might be experiencing. So double click on it, hit yes, hit yes again and hit ok. Now go back and go into the second folder that is the CPU optimizations. Inside of this, the first registry file that is wake up all cores. It's going to make sure that we are utilizing all of our CPU cores and we don't run into the 100% CPU usage issue. As you guys know that Fortnite is a highly CPU bound game and this step will really help you guys completely fix the FPS drop issue. So go ahead and double click on it, hit yes, hit yes again and hit ok. For the second file that is the CPU priority, it is going to prioritize Fortnite for our CPU which is going to fix all the stutters and reduce minimum FPS drops. Just go ahead and open it up, hit yes, hit yes again and hit ok. As for the third one, this is an application unpark CPU, right click on it and run it as admin. Hit yes and we are going to be using this to unpark all of our CPU cores so that we can get the maximum performance out of our CPU. Once this program opens up, make sure that this slider is on 100%. 
hit unpark all hit ok hit apply and hit ok again now we have successfully unparked all of our cpu cores now you can close out of this and go back into the pack this time open up the third folder that is the reduce input latency and inside of this the first one that is disable HPET it's going to disable high precision event timer which causes interrupts at a higher rate which can cause huge input delay and we really don't want that therefore we are going to be disabling the HPET service so right click on it run it as admin hit yes and then press any key to continue once that is done right click on the input delay reduction batch file and run this as admin as well hit yes and then it's going to run a set of commands that is going to disable the windows default synthetic timer so that we can apply our own and get the lowest input delay we possibly can in fortnite so once that is done double click on the lower input delay file hit yes hit yes again and hit ok now we have successfully applied all of the lower input delay tweaks now we can go back into the pack and then go into the fourth folder that is more optimizations inside of this the first file that is the fortnite normal priority a lot of people are experiencing massive fps drops on high priority therefore i recommend you guys to use the fortnite normal priority so to apply it open it up hit yes hit yes again and hit ok as for the second file the fix audio stutters this is going to fix any audio stutters that you might be experiencing whether it's the game audio or your microphone so i highly recommend you guys to use this reg file in case you are experiencing a lot of audio stutters so go ahead and apply it hit yes hit yes again and hit ok as for the third file this is a notepad so open it up and we are going to be replacing this x with the number of logical processors that we have in our cpu so in order to check that right click on your taskbar go into the task manager and go into the performance tab under cpu check the number of logical processors as you guys can see i have four so i'm going to be replacing this x by the number four once that is done copy all of these commands and open up your epic games launcher once the epic game launcher opens up click on settings scroll all the way down till you can see fortnite expand it down and make sure additional command line arguments is checked and then paste all of those commands inside of here now you can go back and close out of the epic game launchers close this out as we have successfully applied all of the working commands for fortnite the fourth file that is the disable notifications open it up and then make sure that notifications are turned off and all of these checkboxes are unchecked as well we don't want annoying notifications interrupting us while we are gaming and also notifications use cpu resources and fortnite as it is is a highly cpu bound game and we want to reduce the cpu usage as much as we possibly can so i highly recommend you guys to turn off notifications make sure that all of these are unchecked then go to the focus assist and make sure that this is turned off as well then close out of this and go into the fifth file that is the minimal search response open it up and we are going to be optimizing our search so that we can lower the cpu usage as much as we can so for the safe search make sure that it's on moderate and then for the history make sure that this is turned off clear any device search history that you might have and then for the searching windows make sure that this is set to classic now you can close out of this now you can close out of the pack as well and we are done with all of the optimizations so those were all of the optimizations inside of this video and these will help all of you guys fix fps drops and boost fps in fortnite chapter 2 season 5 i really hope that this video helps each and every one of you guys and once again make sure to check out part 1 of this guide if you guys want to increase your fps in fortnite even further the link can be found in the description down below and if this video helps you guys then make sure to smash that like button i really appreciate it and if you guys haven't already then make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the post notifications so you never miss a brand new optimization guide when i upload one also if you guys are still watching then you guys are true legends because most of the people have already clicked off of the video if you guys are still watching then make sure to leave a sweet comment down below with hashtag season 5 fps drops for a shout out in the next video make sure you guys use code reknetic in the fortnite item shop if you guys want to support me join the discord for any kind of help we have a really supportive and helping community there and we will be happy to have you there as well and follow me on twitter if you guys just wanna basically keep up to date with what i am up to and what new videos i might be posting so yeah make sure to follow me on twitter for that and now i will be rolling the shout outs from my previous video but before that keep in mind that you are awesome you're the best at what you do and you always have the potential to improve with that said i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome